And I'm going to refresh the page because it's not going to let that it's, it's probably going to tell me you're offline for the next hour if I don't. Yeah, well, you know, that's the way it is. Hello to people who are joining in this extremely boring uh, screen. Let's get Dwarf Fortress going. Hello, friends. I am here, too. I am running with a different color scheme. And this is Sam. Say hello to Sam. Hello, friends. Let's get the Yogs Modan going. Oh, I should probably change my keyboard so that people aren't completely annihilated. Um, get here. Forever. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the thing, right? I remember when one time Bebop joined my stream, and he was like, Hey, Dave, could you raise the volume on your keyboard? I can't hear it enough. <laughs> I was like, you know what? You're a jerk. You're a jerk, and I don't like you. I'm typing extremely loudly. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, people. Hello, friends. Ah, look at that. Streaming Dwarf Fortress at... HTTP, Twitch. This is really good TV, by the way. Is hearing me type yeah. out onto my Twitter. Yeah, I think that um, I think that's a solid. I'll, I'll advertise on on Tumblr. Thank you. You have way more Tumblr followers than I do. I think. I uh, do. That, that, Wait, that, what? Really? Yeah. Uh, unavailable viewer list. What shenanigans is this? That's really annoying. <laughs> Dear shenanigan makers, stop making shenanigans. Sincerely, Dave. Hello, friends. Everyone's like, whoa, is that Sam? Yes, it is. It is Sam, Sam is going to help me sort of run this interface here uh, because uh, Dwarf Fortress actually takes a lot of uh, concentration. So it's a little bit... It's, I'm not going to be ignoring the chat, but um, I'm... I'm going to be ignoring the chat. I'm not going to be ignoring the chat, no, but if I start building something, I may temporarily not be able to see it. And if that's the case, then I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Uh, da -da. Uh, how are you doing? I'm I'm just checking I'm checking all my friends here. Um, how is she doing? Rowan's pearl says so she's not dying. Um, how about you? Are you okay? She's gigantic and quite fat. Mm. Mm. Well, uh, why is it saying that I'm offline? Hmm? It says I'm offline. On when I when I load, is that because of these shenanigans? I mean, it's telling me you're live for me. Okay, good. Okay, well I... that's fine. I'll make you a mod as soon as I can. Hello, people! I still can't see your chat though, which is frustrating. Oh, um, is it not letting you see the chat. I can hi, read out parts of the chat. Hi. See, there's um, that. Hopefully, hopefully I'll start seeing chat soon. Uh, maybe yeah. it's just being a, a butt, which is fine. I am going to design Yogg's Modan today, the proper part of this fortress. But first, but first, we're going to do a couple things I need to do. Notice this is a colony of Bane Spiders. Uh, I have decided that for the purposes of the story, colo... colonies. Yeah. Oh, I see why I'm having problems reading the chat. Wrong Wi-Fi. I have all these Bane Spiders, right? And only one bee colony. Uh, but there's one bee colony for honeybees. So watch this. Oh colonies God, oh God. bees. There we go. So now if I type in colonies Are again. We really doing they're bees all here? yes, they're all honeybees. Zephos is gonna be so happy. Oh bees. God. Bees for days. Bees, bees everywhere. Forever. Bees Please. here. Bees there. Character's Lalna? Duncan's character Lalna or Livid Coffee? Livid Coffee. His character's name is Lalna. Except that he uses the name Livid Coffee over his head. Yeah, but that's just because What am I gonna do Lalna about it? Was, was I could change it right now. Change it right now. Do it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, where are you? There's Zephos. Where's Livid? Co there we are. Um, we're going to look at the view this person, customize it, change the nickname. L Lolna. <laughs> Lolna. There we go. How dare you? Lolna. <laughs> Lolna. Yogs Modan. It, it, Yogs Modan. Uh, is the proper part of the fortress. So I'm going to ask you folks to help me out in designing something. We're not going to play too much today because I, I do want to record like the trading and stuff. But um, this little fortress is super, super small. I mean, like already to start, uh, people are complaining ceaselessly about a lack of tables. So the first thing we're going to do is build that out a little bit, and then we're going to add some more tables in there. Not the bees. Anything but the bees. Uh... Right? Indeed. Oh, and we gotta add a little bit of flourish here. Nope. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, not that. We gotta go doop, 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 doop. Like this. Look at this. It's like a little dwarfy thing. And then um, we'll designate to get rid of these because they're no longer necessary. 
Yes. Oh, it is a little bit difficult being 30 seconds behind you because I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Bees forever. Well, maybe we could share the... I think maybe my network connection could handle all that. Okay. Uh, so maybe I can share the screen. Well, over Skype. Yeah, yeah. As soon as we get started with the proper stuff, then we'll do it. Okay. Yeah, so friends who are in the chat, Sam, who has agreed to come and help me, what I need help with is designing Yogg's Modan. Um, oh, uh, before I do that, so, so what we're going to do is make an area, a starting area. I think we're going to start it like over here in this little nook of the river right over here is where we're going to make the initial thing. And then we're going to dig down, dig deep. Um, Pennington, if you should be working on a term paper, you should go work on a term paper. Uh, and we are going to dig greedily and start a proper underground fortress. Now, um, we want to have above ground and below ground components. So we, you know, because you can't do bees below ground. And it's essential that we do bees. Look, bees. A colony of honeybees. It used to be spiders. Not anymore. Now it's bees. Um... So I need help with that. So we're going to try and design something, with your help, I hope, uh, that is Yogzi and also Yogzi. functional. That's a word now? Yogzi? Yogzish? Yogzesk? Yogz. <laughs> okay, uh, we got to remove this. Now, also, I realized that I never reclaimed <laughs> the wagon with all my awesome stuff from back in the day is not um, claimed. Yeah, so I'm actually going to, there's tons of food there and stuff. So I'm going to, um, <laughs> I'm going to claim it. Somebody, somebody's suggesting pixel art of the little honeydew face from the front of, uh... I had this thought, and I will, in fact, do this. Absolutely. Yes. Um, I however, I don't... Th like, I, I'll need to dig first and set it up and then build colored bricks, but I absolutely can do it. Anyways, so now that's, that's claimed. Um, all the things there are claimed. Whoa. Uh, yeah, look at all this stuff here. Look at all hey, those things. Hey, Boa's here. Hey, Boa. Hey, Boa. What's up? <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can see uh, the viewer list. Viewer list, please, to see what I can see, to see. Why won't it let me see my dang viewer list? Okay, um, hey, Sam, say something awesome. Uh, me? Yeah. Okay. Well, I just told Alex that I'm going to ban him, so that's that's one thing. Ban them. I said something. <laughs> Making a mod from that, right? Yep. <laughs> hey, Boa, guess what? Also a mod. Yeah. You get a mod. You got, I hope that that works. everyone mod. Yeah, I hope that everyone that Everyone you like. <laughs> you get a mod. You get, did that work for you, Sam? Uh, I have no idea. Let's find out. Op user. <laughs> nope, not yet. I said, am I mod how instead of now because I'm... It says smart. you have added Scott... Uh, Sakalow? Sakalow, whatever. Sakalow. Uh, you've added, Janine, you've added, Garofalo, you've added Janine, Janine Garofalo as a... I hope we got to work. I don't know. No, I have no idea. It, maybe it's just glitched anyways. Like, I don't think I see anybody with mods. Uh, equal Wing oh. has it. Oh. Okay. Um, okay Whatever. So we got that dug out. Oh, and we should tell them to add some more... Um, uh, make, we can make some uh, bedroom set, storage set. No, we want dining room set. Okay. Make a wooden dining room set. Um, all right. So what we need to do is maybe go over here and start, I think that just initially, I want to make some downward stairways right over here. So I think we're going to nestle this in the crook of the river, right? And um, then we're going to make up-down stairways. And we want to go down a few levels to leave ourselves plenty of room. So yeah, like this. Uh, so we'll go down like five levels. Um, and that way, if we start down here, like at, at this fifth level, um, then we have a lot of freedom in how we proceed, I think. Uh, so I think the first thing we want to do is just make a big room. So let's go like this. So this is three. So let's go um, one like that. One and then one, two, one. So that's 13. And then um, one. Well, as Fuzz says that it takes a couple of minutes for changes to take effect, so you probably won't see the little okay. sword for a while. <laughs> the sword. My little sword. Uh, uh, uh. Is this balanced? It's always so tricky to do this. I should really learn Quick Fort so that I could do this, like, magically. Magically? Well, you know, with, like, Quick Fort, you can just be like, make me a 13 by 13 square dwarf fortress, and it's like, yes, sir! Uh, okay. <laughs> Yes, sir. 
<laughs> Greetings, future M. I am talking to you from the past of your future. Past of your future. Well, I can see them, but they're not going to hear seconds. me. Yeah, yeah. Approximately 30 seconds in the future. So one of the features I wanted to have for this was like when they come down to this great hall, right? This huge hall. Um, I want to have like little little uh, pillars, and actually the pillars are fortifications, so that if, if invaders do come in, um, these fortifications dwarves can like hang out in them, like get in the middle, and 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 shoot them. So like this 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 great hall is in fact defensible, and it's like a snow fort. It's like my perfect little snow fort. Dwarf fortress <laughs> is all about the best snow fort. Right, so so like the inside of these will be I, the dwarves won't be able to dig that out, but the inside of this whoa, um, will actually be bees. No, it won't be bees. I was about to say like, are you sure that you want to do that? That's yeah. not centered. It's not centered. Uh, actually, now it is. But okay. 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 Fifty percent British and sixty percent offensive. <laughs> Yeah, fair. No, um, no, that's fair. However, <laughs> Americans and British people have a unique sort of relationship. I think we can sort of get away with making fun of each other's accents. You should hear uh, Simon's American accent. Totally oh hilarious. God. Yeah, totally good. <laughs> I can just imagine. I I wonder. All right. So yeah, we can see like well, like this. So this I think is going to be the entrance hall of Yogg's Modan, right? And we'll have, like, these little defensive things that militia uh, dwarves can go into. Um, okay, so that's the purpose of the weird little holes pillars. In, yeah, in the middle. Yeah, so we'll make these actually have holes in the middle, and then we'll make them out of fortifications so that dwarves can shoot out of them. <sighs> right, right? That makes sense. I, I, I think it might. It might. I mean, it might not work because they might not be able to dig those out. At all, well, but... what they'll do, what we'll do actually. In fact, I can even I can even show you how that'll work. Uh, so let's go and change up down stairway instead, right? Yeah. So actually, these are going to be up down stairways, and they'll come up from below. Okay. And like the military training area will be a little bit below us, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And then I'm thinking actually. So uh, what I'm going to do is undesignate this okay the thing in the middle yeah and i'm actually just going to make these upwards stairways so yeah upward stairways this will be the end of this shaft there's no going down further from here see so this is like the entrance to yogs modan right all right so what i want to know folks is like should i make the yogs cast live like regular dwarves or should I um, give them, like, custom little areas of their own and make the regular dwarves live like regular dwarves? Hmm. I think we should give them all their own areas because they're special, but let's see. You, so you want to have, like, the Yogg's Quarter? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm curious. Let's see what the stream says. Yeah. Curious what the stream says. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is have, like, little little passages going off here, and they'll be defensible. Right. I still can't see what you're doing. <laughs> You'll see in a sec. And then okay. um, in a sec, we'll get stuff going. Everyone says, give all the Yogg Dwarves lavish bedrooms on their own floor. Yogg Dwarves be noble, so do it. The Yogg Court. The Yogg Court. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm thinking we're going to start putting homes over on the left-hand side, over this way. So how about we put do the do the yog dwarves live in did they, they live in the upper areas or the lower areas which is which is I mean the deeper you go the more noble you are cuz the, the more deeper you're digging as a dwarf so Well there is the there is a downside though right is that if if the dwarves only live underground for too long they become cave adapted and, and barf when they go upstairs into the light That could be a problem Right so yeah you don't want to you don't want to barf when you go up in the light that would, yeah, that would kind of suck. Uh, somebody says you need to make sure Fiona and Zoe get their own place, which is adorable. Do you have a, a Fiona dwarf? I don't have dwarves yet. Actually, uh, let me fire up this. Let's see. We just got a really big set of dwarves in the migration. I don't know if anybody got a chance to watch. Um, I don't know if anybody got a chance to watch my episode yet, but uh, yeah, we got um, a bunch of dwarves. 
I didn't. I'm sorry. That's fine. Oh, it's it's brand new. Oh boy, we can. Everybody's drinking my beer. Oh wow, is this a? Wow. You have a lot of dwarfs. Yeah, I told you. I told you we got a huge weight. But look at this one. She is. I can't see it yet. Okay, you'll see it in a sec. Wow. So this one. <laughs> she is an alchemist. Ooh. Yeah. She could be a great sorcerer, um, if we let her. Uh, oh. No one here appears to be a crafts dwarf. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Highest modable skill. No. Moodable skill. I'm just looking through these. Yeah, I don't see anybody here. But uh, we do have Nil. Let's see. Um, and she is very unhappy. <laughs> but she's our clerk, manager, and bookkeeper. Um and she's okay. fairly good as a bookkeeper, an appraiser, and a dodger. So, I mean, that's that's good. Let's let's um. Let's actually. Whoa, not what I wanted to do. Let's go <laughs> check out Nil, and see what she looks like. Maybe we can pick. Um, maybe we can pick from there. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll view the creature, and enter thoughts and preferences. <laughs> you just got a whole bunch of shit stopped up. Uh, I have visited the uh, Yogg's Cast uh, IRC. It is a great place. It's a wonderful place. Um, she is weak. She is weak. She is weak. <laughs> her ears are fuse lobbed, lobed. Her narrow and close set eyes have very, her, very thin irises. Her hair is clean shaven. Wow. She doesn't have hair. Her nice. teeth are crowded, her nose is somewhat long, Hardcore. her lips are very thin, her skin is copper, her eyes are bronze, her eyes are slightly sunken. This, uh, this dwarf sounds super hardcore. Yeah, what, should, should we name her something? Is there, is there a Yogg's cast member that we could get, that would be appropriate for that? Uh, huh. Or should we name her Boa? <laughs> name her Boa, do it. Yeah, but I, I, Boa's like, I'm like, badass. Oh yeah, okay, guess what? <laughs> Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's wrong. Uh, we actually want to cover this as a nickname. Boa. <sighs> okay. Um, Boa Shoshin Shinodom. <laughs> Everyone's like, yes. Right. Great idea. Yes. Okay, so Nil is now Boa. Uh, okay, so let's design the actual housing for them next. I want to be a badass dwarf without hair. That's all I want. Yeah, well, she's awesome. She's not going to be like a, a great soldier, but she is going to be pretty awesome. So if we're going to have living quarters, I think the thing we should do, maybe this is too big, uh, is we should, I'd like to sink them down into apartments that go slowly down, but I'd like to have, after a little bit of space for there to be a bridge here, I'd like for there to be a big common room at the top where they can all eat, right? Like something like this. And then um, we'll hang a little kitchen off of it. I love doing little stuff like this. A kitchen, a brewery, brewery, right? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then um, attached to that and attached to the kitchen is uh, a, well, actually, we'll just go like this, um, a long stockpile. Oh, we can go, we don't need that big. That's a big food stockpile. Like that. Um, in fact, we can even go like this. I think this might even look cool. Right? So that will be where our dwarves li like like eat. Right? And then I think that the way that we'll do the... Um, um, they're saying make the top and bottom even with the sides. I think they're yelling at you. <laughs> uh, Dave, listen to Erwer. Make the top and bottom even with the sides. I don't know what you're talking about. I think what they mean is... Mm, actually, I don't know what they're saying either. Yeah, I mean, like, look at that. I think that's... Oh, I see what you're saying. This, um... Maybe this this door annoys them. At least to make that symmetrical. Yeah. Fancy pantry. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, I think that that's, that's, that's awesome right there. And so this will be the way down into the dwarven um, quarters. And now each little dwarven quarter um, is going to have uh, a... Up down stairway, so let's go like this. And let's go down. Let's do like three levels of it. 
Um, each one is going to start out with a little meeting room. It'll look like this. I need to eventually get some macros to make these quickly because if I'm going to be doing lots of levels, then so like I think like this looks really cool. I love stuff like this. And then um, how about like this? That'll go right there. And so now it's like a little little area. We can smooth those or replace them with statues. The top and bottom need expanding by one. What are you talking about? I don't understand. They're closer horizontally than horizontally than vertically. Uh. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You're right. You're right. Um, you are so right. There. You want to be an actual perfect square. I kind of like the off aspect, but I can see why that would bother some people. Thank you for the catch. And then we'll just uh, we'll go ahead and do this, and then this, and then this. There oh, so we it's go. Like one less than a perfect square. Yeah, well, it was two less than a perfect square, which I kind of like that aspect, but I can see why it would bug some people. Yeah, asymmetry bothers some people. Yeah. I've had a couple of different. Um, it's either like you have to go really asymmetrical, you have to exaggerate, it, you need to make it look intentional, or else it just looks sloppy. Yeah. Now the other thing I was well, I don't know if I want to actually do that though. So the other thing I was thinking was that I could put a water trench all around the edge of the main hall. Are you gonna drown all your dwarves again? No, 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 I won't. It's been a while since Are I've actually sure? had that. I mean, it'll be like it'll be water, but they won't walk into it. <laughs> there was one time where Dave sent me a screenshot, and it really looked like he was about to murder all of his dwarves on purpose. It was safe, okay. <laughs> all right. It was really funny. I think that the first level, since we've talked about it, I think that maybe it's wise to give this where the Yogg's cast live. So let's do Duncan's room. Uh, and let's do something like this for Duncan's room. And then we're going to have Zephos and Honeydew over here. Zephos and Honeydew should get a room together. What? <laughs> uh, I mean, they're going to have a room next to each other. Tell you what. They're going to have a connecting door. Yes. How's that? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, if you say Futurum is a butt, you'll make me happy. Um, I, I mean, I said it. The Yogscast IRC wants to send you its love. Okay, tell them to come here. Yeah. Yeah, what are they doing over there? All right, we got to give Boa an office and a, uh, an office and a dining room as well. So Boa's, here's Boa's room. Now we can go like, I think it's, uh... Where's the notes key? I never use it, but I really should since I'm actually, I've never actually designed things out this far in advance. So I'm not used to using the notes thing, uh, capital N, yeah. right? So we're gonna place one here. We're gonna change the symbol selector. Um, oh, I'm not quite sure how this works. Change symbol selector. Uh, note text. Boa's office room. Um, we're gonna name it Boa, and we're going to. They know what our plans for the stream later are, right? Someone's asking about Minecraft. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, after we're done with this design, uh, we're gonna get a quick Minecraft Resident Rise three server set up and check it out. So yeah. we'll be doing some. Um, I imagine we'll probably be doing this for about an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then we'll. I just wasn't sure if we were if we were if we were talking about that, so I was being intentionally vague. But yeah, are we having anybody else join us for that, or is it just going to be you and me? Um, I think that it will just be uh, you and you and I, unless we find. Maybe we can, uh, I was going to say maybe we could drag lying into it, but lying probably is not up for anything because lying graduated from university today. <laughs> yeah. So it's probably still interacting with family and such. Okay. Anyways. Uh, notes. Uh, a new one we're going to place right here. Oh, there we go. I can I can do it like this. Oh, cool, 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 uh, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Uh, I'm stuck. now. Great. I'm so happy. I love Homestuck. Um, I'm sure you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure you do. 
my pumps are trash, you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I just don't know anything about it, and I'm not sure that it's my thing, so... Yeah. Know. I mean, uh, Problem Sleuth or uh, Jailbreak might be more your thing, but I don't think Homestuck would be. Homestuck runner, really great. <laughs> that is definitely wrong. <laughs> What's wrong about it? Homestuck runner? <laughs> really? Homestuck runner, stay in school. So that's where Zephos is going to hang out, and this is where Honeydew will hang out. Um. Oh, yeah. Fuzz says lying's just a bit dead. That's what I was expecting. All right. Uh, Moswolf says, I don't know why Dave named his channel what he has, but it's very misleading. That's part of the reason it's the worst channel, because it's terrible. <laughs> Your channel is great. Uh, if by great you mean great at being terrible, yes. Okay. Uh, Clearly let's... it's great because I'm here. No. Oh, yeah, well, that's fair. <laughs> that's certainly less obnoxious. Okay. Um... Are you kidding me? <laughs> dee 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 uh, That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Look at me go. Mom, Dad, I'm doing it. Okay, and I wish there was an easier way to designate complicated shapes without using CSVs. Okay, uh, so that's the nobles floor where we're going to put all the yogs cast. This is the commoners floor. Um, so we're going to go like this, right? And then we'll just designate a few small rooms off of the sides, and then we'll go up and down for that. And hopefully we'll find awesome metals. And we're going to give them, typically you only give dwarves three, uh, uh, oh, three by one space, but because we're awesome and because we're on camera, we're going to do a little bit better than that, I think. You know, not saying. I hear someone ringing the front doorbell. I'll be right back. I have to go answer that. Sorry. Yep. I'll keep you all entertained while he's gone, I guess. Um, so, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> I have no idea how to do this, but I can't change the screen. So... Since uh, Dave is currently out, I'm not really sure what that was. Who sings more, Hat Films or Curing Dave? Ah, that's a good question. Who does sing more? Hmm. I mean, you're talking about singing well. Because, you know, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't exactly say Dave's singing is on the level of Hat Films. But <laughs> tell us a story. Um, a story. I'm not Sue, guys. That's not me. <laughs> I'm Sam. I play video games sometimes. Um, a story. Do I have an interesting story to tell about my life? Well, when I was flying home, uh, I was flying home for a couple of a couple of days ago I was <laughs> I was on the plane and there was a kid there was a kid playing like three seats in front of me and he gave me like this really dirty look because I was also playing Pokemon it was like kid we're playing the same video game here why am I suddenly like not cool because I'm older than you like shut up kid <laughs> that's not an interesting story <laughs> oh dear what's this uh, I do, I do draw the drawings, um, I do many of the drawings, drawings, um, so many drawings, all the arts, sometimes I draw too many things, ow, I just burnt myself on my teeth. Lying stops breathing. Please administer emergency cocoa. Boa, coming from you, that is a little... Wow. Um, thanks, Boa. Thanks. Um, jeez. <laughs> I am a kid. Thanks. Yeah, I am. Uh, jeez. Okay. Huh. Do I have any funny jokes? Okay. Hey, you're back. Cool. I'm back. 
was having a really hard time entertaining people. Well, let's face it. We're looking. I should have left it upstairs on something more interesting. All right. I think this is a good setup here. So let's yeah. mirror that. Um, actually, let's maybe it'd be better to go like this. I should at one point puzzle out how to make. Wait, this is super wrong, isn't it? <laughs> Yay, more work for me. Um, you can put a bed there. I mean, you can only put a bed there, but in each of these rooms, you can put a single bed. Yeah, it was too close to the corridor. Ah. Uh. And yeah, I'll, I'll just make a perfect copy of this going downwards for all non nobles. Yep, 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 yep. Wait, that's wrong. I should do that just to piss everybody off. What? Good job. Uh, and With this... little pea plants. Pea pods. Little pea pods, like my daughter. <laughs> I forgot that was your nickname for her. Pea pod. Cute. Well, she's just a little pod. And she has a lot of pea. <laughs> that's less cute now. What are you talking about? It was really cute, and then you ruined it. <laughs> Part of being a parent is ruining everything. Dad, you stop embarrassing me? I'm already three months old. <laughs> that never stops, by the way. Nope. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. Um, once again, I'm doing it wrong. Boop. Uh... Small human in the background. This is the first. Yeah, you can hear Vesper in the background. Sorry. No, it's uh, fine. I was pointing it out. Yeah, she's there, and she's being, she's been cluster feeding during Thanksgiving, which Sue was very appreciative of. I'm sure. Uh, okay. I think that this will be enough for now. This is, in fact, we probably don't even need all of these rooms to start, but it's good to start a plan. So what we'll do is we'll clip off some of these branches, and then it should be enough for everybody. Um, We'll remove this designation and this designation for now. And, uh, yeah, we can just copy that up and down. That looks pretty cool, actually. Like, I kind of think that maybe the Yogscast would be mad that they aren't living in these awesome places. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in a single room that's like, what? Three two by, by two? Three? They're going to get a bed. They're going to get a, 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 you know, they're going to get, like, maybe a coffin. I don't know. A coffin? Yeah, why not? I mean, like, how awesome would that be? You just come home, there's your bed, there's your fireplace, there's your <laughs> chest of drawers, and then you have a coffin. That sounds like an excellent plan. I don't know why everyone's house doesn't look like that. I mean, well, I, I mean, that, that way, when they die, they just, we roll, we lift, the, they die in their sleep, and we lift the sheets, and they fall over <laughs> into the coffin. We close it, and then we just tape the door shut. Boom. And, yeah, they're buried. And then everybody who lives near them gets to smell the, smell the smell of decomposing dwarf for the rest of their life. You know, that's actually modeled in this game is miasma. That's really gross. Uh, well, you gotta, you gotta make sure to store your uh, corpses outdoors. <laughs> Holy shit. This game has thought of everything. Yeah, it is kind of famous for that. I think that looks that's better, terrible. too. terrible. Uh, well, I mean, is it really? Uh, well, I mean, it's interesting, but kind of sucks. Okay. Stuck. Uh, we got one more thing, I think. Well, there's two more things to do. Next is we're going to make the mine, the mine shaft head, I think, goes over here. Yeah. And then we'll do downward stairways here. It's always good to have your mine area separated from the rest of your fortress a little bit, so that if there is something that goes terribly wrong, <laughs> you know. If something does go absolutely horribly wrong. You could just be like, we're going to close this, we're going to close this door. <laughs> it's done now. Um, up here, I think will be where we start the great, like one of the great works that we're going to do in this series is a great library. We're going to build every type of library and all the mages infrastructure. And we'll have the magic police take up residence over there. Like we'll actually have a squad of dwarves called the magic police that'll be all wizards. Okay. Does that sound okay? Really? What's wrong with You're that? You're really going all out here. This is great. No, I'm I'm excited for this. This is great. I really all the, I think I like my idea by the way of the channel around the edge. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And I now, look forward well, to all of your doors dying in a horrible flood. Well, look. <laughs> there. Does no one notice how pillars 1 and 2 are across 
from the center. Hi, Vesper. So, in this world, though, the magic police actually have a good purpose. Dwarves are the only other race that works out magic besides the necromancers. I really hope, by the way, that lying edits that stuff down. We had a great time. We, we, uh, we totally lost our original haunted forest, or f f forest fortress. The forest, too. It was bad. I'm excited to watch this. Are there goats in Dwarf Fortress? Yes, in fact, I have some booze belly goats. Well, we're gonna have to do something with those goats then. You can you can milk you can milk them, and then their milk is alcoholic, so it becomes a, a, a thing. You can make it into cheese, so then you have alcoholic cheese, which is awesome. But the best thing is to turn the alcoholic cheese, you can brew it back into a type of whiskey that's a super good alcoholic drink. Oh my god, that's a really long process, but also amazing. Yeah, um, wait. Dave, I said they're two up and one across from the center. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, this is actually fine because the main I did I did do that on purpose. Like they're they're not quite perfectly centered here because this is the main thoroughfare here, and we'll eventually build statues along all of this point to sort of make like a thoroughfare. So I do want that space. Also, the invaders are going to come in and kind of get all swirled around, and they're just going to be absolutely murdered by all these things. So we want a nice broad area in here for the invaders to bunch up and get confused. I'm just, sorry, I'm just laughing at Puzz's story about about anime club. <laughs> mm. I like to make fun of Fuzz and Lying for going to this anime club every week. <laughs> oh, they go to the same anime club? That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, Fuzz is cool. lying. What? Fuzz is Lying's uh, housemate. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yes. So that's why that's why I make fun, fun of them, and that's why Fuzz is sort of my go-to for knowledge about how lying is doing. Oh, I know he's I know he's a tiny. He's extremely tiny. He um, is and tiny. And tiny. So I, what they were what, what Fuzz's story was was that uh, Fuzz had to get a bag off the top shelf for him because Fuzz is just a little bit taller than lying. Because <laughs> that's not hard because lying's really short. Yeah, we shouldn't be too mean to him about it, but yes, he's pretty <laughs> flippin' short, if you ask me. Uh, well, is that... I'm only, like, three inches taller than lying, but that's still three inches taller. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you should be proud of that. <laughs> All right, so this will be our first crafting area uh, up here. I think this is, like, this will be where they go. So... Friends. So that's going to be like the workshop area? It'll be the initial workshop area, and what we're actually going to do is put um, downward stairways in the middle here. Ah. And this will be, well, that'll lead to more crafting areas. So we're going to kind of got the, the place divided in two. Yeah, the upstairs and the downstairs. Yeah, and now, um, and we'll, we may even have like pits and stuff that you can, they can just dump stuff down to go much deeper. Um, now, also, let's go and um, designate this. So this is the mine head, right? <laughs> Everyone was asking earlier who sings more, you or Hat Films, and I was like, well, that depends on what you count as singing. What? <laughs> Your singing is beautiful, Dave. Uh-huh. I see how it is. I got it. It's clear how much you respect my singing. Um, right. So I think that's the basic. Now, my question is, uh, does anybody have any ideas? First of all, do people think this design is okay? Like this is the basics so far, but you think it's okay? Um, like, do we have any, any thoughts? Uh, Vesper is pretty cute, except when she's upset. When she's mad, she's shrill. Well, I think every baby is like that. Sure. Yep. Okay, Neon Prodigy I'm likes sure it so your far. your baby is the cutest when she's not angry. Um, actually, what does it take to build... Uh, I guess, what does it take to build a, um, guild hall? Oh god, I never actually posted the stream thing, but I, I just went, I just switched over to my Tumblr t uh, tab, and I was like, oh, I never hit post on that on that post. 
You didn't hit post on that post. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Um, now we did. Uh, doo -doo. Hello, documentation. This is what I have to look at. Look at this. This is, this is hideous. You'll see in a sec, Sam. It's grim. Um, okay. Uh, guild hall. So this is 11 by 11. So I would like to get a guild hall and a garrison pretty early. Um, because I have to start getting like gold coins, but that shouldn't be too hard. Um, and I'd like to get yeah, so I'd like to get that going pretty quick. So let's go ahead and um, at least get that part set up. Because this will be so I, I'm I don't know like folks, you can tell me should should I put the guild hall up in the northern direction where the library and stuff is going to go? Like the first initial things are the guild hall and the garrison, or should I put it off in the users' quarters? Or the, 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 like the Dwarven quarters? Like as a little annex where all the commerce goes? What should I do? Hmm. I think you should keep it on the floor, but let's see what the... Well, I mean, I could put it like, I could put it over by the kitchen and meeting area. That seems like a good spot for it. So that's kind of like putting it off over there where, um, you know, the majority of the Dwarves will be spending a lot of their time. But that's not necessarily... So what does a guild hall do? Uh, let me actually... Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let me get to guild hall. Yeah. This is the guild hall. Um, it requires five blocks, four tables, four chairs. And what it does is it lets, guild, uh, lets dwarves join a guild. There are a bunch of different guilds. And when a dwarf is a member of... It takes 500 gold coins. So we're actually going to have to trade a little bit or start making coins. Um, which is one of the reasons I'm going to be mining. Um, like the, our initial starter base is going to be totally destroyed because there's so much copper there. We can use that for coins. Oh. <laughs> um. It, it will. Uh, it will let us um, like make the dwarves learn at double speed. So oh. for the, for their guild skills. So like right now they learn pretty slowly, but when they join a guild, they learn twice as fast. Also, um, it, it lets miners of the Masons Guild resistant to warpstone and coal dust, which is really important because if we, I know there's warpstone on the map, and if we find it, it will kill us. Oh my gosh, that's not good. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Um, but then there's also the garrison. This is another 11 by 11 building, and this lets dwarves join the military. It's substantially more expensive to join a dwarf to the military. Um, you know, five times as much, so 2,500 gold. But they learn, um, they learn uh, combat skills twice as fast. Which is really good, and there are different types of types of dwarves, so we can like gil like get things. And they initially they make great. Eventually, you want all your dwarves to be in in the garrison, but um, initially they get, uh, scraping together the money to put one of them in is great in masterwork for like the military commander. Um, <laughs> I sort of I sort of tuned out, but halfway through that, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Do Americans even use the term pond apart from reference to Amy? Uh, we use it to talk about small bodies of water. Yeah, I mean, what, what else? It's a duck pond. What else would we call it? <laughs> like, what, what What were you thinking it would be called? The small lake. Slake? <laughs> it's not a pond! You're what? mixing two words together. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so the military area, huh? I like that idea. Why okay. don't we do a little bit of that before we, we call it quits here? So I like this idea a lot. What if we put the military area... Um, what if we... See, we, want, we don't want to do it underneath here, and we don't want to do it underneath here because more levels will go there. So I guess the military area will be to the north. The military area... Like, I guess this would be where the administration stuff is. Um... So we'll designate some more mining. How much room do we got? Not a ton that way, but um, maybe I should change it and put the mine head up here. So that way we can go down a whole bunch. So let's uh, wait. All right, is everybody ready again? Yep. Hold on. Duh. Oh, there we go. People who want to know is, uh, are you going to put the military on the surface so they can get late, so they can leave? Like, let and go out and do stuff? Yeah, so that they can, like, fight outside. Yeah, I think that they need to be close. So that's why I'm actually, I'm, I'm putting the mine head in the north. Um, 
that's the plan here. Is it oh, wow, that's... everything's sort of like off to the side. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Are you going really deep underground right now? Um, this is only about one, two, three, four, five levels deep. Oh, you're you're moving sideways now. I, I couldn't see. D D D D D. If you look on the right, you see that little okay. blue line. That's me going up and down. Oh, okay. So see, that's ground level. Yeah. I see and that the, now. yeah. Okay. So now I'm I'm at, uh, there's ground level like here. Uh, okay. Now, actually, you know what I could do is actually put the military above. That could be really cool. Um, you could build them their own little building above ground. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, what if I did that? So, no, 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 just like one level up. So, like, look, instead of going up into these pillars, they could be going down into them. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. I know. Super fancy. Yes. Uh, you know what we could also do? That'd be funny. Um, oh, dear. <laughs> Anytime you say something's going to be funny, I'm like, oh, gosh. What do you have in store for us now? <laughs> uh, let's go up here. Uh, if we go like this, uh, now we just have a big empty space. Um, and we got to do, we got to redesignate uh, up down stairways here. But like, there we go. So now it's going to be like a huge cavernous space. The, the doors, well... You know, actually, that's a huge amount of work. Let's not actually do that until we have to. But that's, yeah, that would be kind of cool, actually, I think, because, um, is that actually lined up? Yeah, it is. Uh, My screen is buffering, so I can't even tell you. Buffering? Like buffering? buffering? Coffee is universally gross to you. Coffee's so good. I love coffee. How could you? Coffee is so good. I, um, you know, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um... <laughs> Siphon Coffee Vimeo. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to show you. I'm famous. Did you know that? I did know that. <laughs> uh, How about this? We're even going to do it right here. Siphon Coffee Vimeo. I was going to link it, but I'm not. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Uh, Here we are. Are you on a coffee commercial or something? I... I... <laughs> I can't see what you're showing the viewers. Don't. Why not? Because <laughs> my stream is buffering. Well, it isn't. It isn't even caught up yet. <laughs> Just link it to me in Skype. <laughs> um. Okay. Stand by. Making this so difficult for me, guy. Sorry. Guy. Sorry. Oh, now I can see it. This is my desk. Whoa, that's really loud, huh? Where's the... Where's the... Oh, here we are. Since you linked it in the chat, I can actually see it now. This is, this is me making coffee and my friend testing out his D7000. And our friend, uh, No Such Thing, did the music for us. Well, he was doing it for an album, but he gave us the music to listen... to use. This is a really over... <laughs> what is this? Wub wub wub. So we, yeah, we were, we were putting it. This is one of the ways I make coffee every afternoon at work. Really? Yep. What? I have my proclivities. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's pretty intense, actually, the way this works. It's like it uses uh, phase changing of water to pr provide a pressure. It's like you're distilling water. Uh, sort of. It's boiling, so there'll still be some impurities. But yes, it, it basically, what happens is water vapor fills up the bottom chamber and forces the non-changed water to flow up to the top. It then brews, oh. and then when you when you remove the heat, then the water vapor begins to condense and creates a suction that forces it back down. Um, it's called siphon, and it is a very tricky method, but it, 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 it's, it's difficult to get right, but when you get it right, it is the best way. Well, one of the best ways. And then it makes coffee. And then it makes coffee. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. I just watched the whole video. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is quite the thing. Oh, wow. Oh! Okay, sorry. That was infinite. There was infinity there. <laughs> Somebody asked, is this a potions class in Hogwarts? Um, sometimes it feels like it, doesn't it? <laughs> it does look a little bit like you're making a potion of some kind. 
Yeah. <laughs> People are calling you a huge nerd now. Is that a problem? Deservedly so. I don't understand <laughs> why that. Why I would be upset by that. You shouldn't be upset. <laughs> oh, Dave, you're a huge nerd. Oh, no, you found me out. Oh, no. Your secret has been revealed to the world. Oh, I'm out of tea. That's sad. Oh, shit. That's okay, because tea's terrible. Hey, fuck you. Whoop, whoop. Oh, actually, am I allowed to swear on this? I just realized I never actually asked. Well, uh, no, but now that you did, <laughs> yes, right? Now it's all, now it's ruined. Everything is terrible. And, uh, Sorry, I ruined everything. Here, I, I, I'll do another Starfield so that people feel better. Do, 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 do. That's going to go down probably to the magma sea if it doesn't hit a cavern. Oi, Dave. Oh, Bo is trying to get her attention. Oh, what? don't diss tea. Thank you. Uh, I Thank mean, you tea's, for your support. Tea's Go fine. On. Tea's fine, but I'm not a big fan of L-theanine, which is in most tea, and so I, I much prefer caffeine. Um, oh, see, um, I drink a lot of tea. Like, even, especially being at home right now, um, take, take my, mom, <laughs> my mom collects tea, so um, Sam, no, what? <laughs> oh, this is after I swore, I'm guessing. Um, my mom collects different types of tea, so we've got a huge drawer full of tea and, like, four or two different sections of our cupboard is just full of tea. So I drink a lot of tea, you know, away from home, but when, I, when I'm at home, I'm, like, constantly drinking tea. It's bad. It's a problem. <laughs> Why is it a problem? I don't know. I just drink a lot of tea. I try to not drink caffeinated tea. I try to drink just herbal teas, but sometimes I forget and I drink the wrong teas and then I'm up all night. So I'm like, drink four glasses of the same kind of tea. <laughs> All y'all hating on tea. Shut up. <laughs> no. Great. No. No, tea's terrible. Yeah, you're wrong. You're just, you're wrong. And by wrong, you mean tr right. You mean correct. No, I mean you're, you're wrong. <laughs> so I'm right. No. Oh, okay, so I'm right. No. Okay. You're wrong. Okay, uh, so we need 11 by 11 for the, um, I think this is enough. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. God, that's huge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Probably should put that there. Okay, uh, do, do, and then we'll put that there. So this is where the garrison and the guild hall will go. Um, so I guess the library is going to head down south. And I'm sure that this will bug people, so let's get rid of this and this. <laughs> Two, three, four. Are you making uh, asymmetrical things again? It's actually hard to make it symmetrical, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit, because you have to have an odd number if you yeah. want to make it symmetrical. Well, then we'll do this. All right, there we go. Uh, Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Um, Perfect. All right, so this is the Yogsmodan initial start, and we will get them to tear through it. Thank you very much, everybody, for helping me make Yogsmodan. Uh, is there anything else that I should build? Should I, like, anything ridiculous? So you want me, people want me to make a giant honeydew face. Do I make that on the ground? Like, is that my first major project? Yes, absolutely. Make that your first big project. Is Dave duping has lying? What is duping? Doop 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 Making dumb noises, I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know what that means. What do I have? I'm lying is about 500 years too late. To have a monopoly on that. I mean, we're just going to trim off these pieces over here. Um, so that... We have to start making yeah noises now to really imitate lying. Everybody down the dance floor and go like this. Yeah. I'm actually making a reference there to an old version of Dance Dance Revolution that I played in college. Wow. That's a really long time ago. Mm-hmm. When were you in college again? Uh, back in the day. That's really unspecific, but okay. <laughs> back in the day. Okay. Speaking of scooters, somebody just brought up scooters. I have a Ranger scooter that I use, like, to get around. Why? In the city. Because it's easier than walking. Why? <laughs> I mean, like, what about your pride? <laughs> it's easier than walking, and it's a lot faster than walking, and I can't have a bike 
in the city because it would get stolen, like, in a day. But nobody wants to steal a Razor scooter because other people have more, uh, <laughs> more dignity than I do. Pride, huh? Okay. Now, the other thing i got to figure out is how the heck we're going to make money. Uh, it's going to be challenging. Cause the, so, I did do a little bit of cheating. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is cool. <gasps> Dave, how could you? I, th look, I, th this has to happen. Whenever we have a series, we have to have a bit of cheating. Sorry, it's just the way it is. It, just, it has to happen that way. How could um, you cheat like that? Oh, my God. Watch. I can do a prospect all. And I can see exactly what we got. Ah. Uh, um, right? That's what you meant by cheating. Okay. Yeah. And so here's the... Um... <laughs> Apparently the other day, Flying tried to make a bleeding noise. <laughs> you are ridiculous. No, you're ridiculous. No, you are. No, you. I'll just fall off my list. So this site has caserite and malachite. A lot of caserite. Caserite, oh, right, yeah. Yeah, Tacit okay. oh, and taro tacitar. Um, has a lot of that. <laughs> and it has... Um, a lot of uh, malachite, although not quite as much. Um, these are all the things that show up in... The only reason I know how to pronounce any of these is because I've watched people play through uh, Terra Firmacraft, and these are all things that show up there because these yeah. are all like the real ores are called or something. I yeah. Guess. Um, there's no gold. There is native silver and galena, so there's lead uh, and silver. There's no gold and hematite. There's not a ton of iron. There's only about 1,300 hematite. Uh, That's or, not good. No. And there's Why aluminum. Why did you choose this place again? Well, I chose it because it's a good location for Diggy Diggy Hole, not because it's fantastic. So the thing is, we're going to have to trade for most of our stuff. Uh, on the other hand, we have a lot of off gems. Um, that is we good, because you can trade for that. Yeah, we have more emerald than iron. <laughs> that means you can trade... For the emeralds, for the iron, maybe? Yeah, that's the plan. It's also malachite, not malachite. Apparently Mala you're pronouncing it malachite. You're pronouncing it wrong. I, I was originally saying it malachite, and someone corrected me and said it was malachite. How do I even know anymore? It's probably a, a place-based thing or something. Place-based. Data place. I see. But yeah, we have more... Yeah, we have a lot of... A lot of this stuff. Not to say that 1,300 hematite is not a lot of iron, but it, not as much as we want. And we need gold, and we need platinum. And we're just not going to be able to get those things easily. So that's a problem. So people don't trade for gold? Well, they do, but not by default. And also, but like, if you're trading coin. for gold, it's, 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 it's high value. So you really have to, like, and you don't have gold, it's like a kind of a challenge. Right, and you also want to be trading for food because you may not be able to sustain things on your own. If we if we were having an embark by the ocean, I would sell the huge amount of food you can generate from the ocean uh, out. But oh. I don't know if that's gonna be possible. Well, you don't have the ocean nearby, so. Uh, may actually maybe there's something I could do about that. Not bring the ocean, but um. Fishing in the river. F well, we could fish in the river. Fish pond. Uh, making. And oh. use the bucket from the pond. The bucket has least chance to get a better one. Um, also click live house for aquarium. So this might actually be a way that we could build stuff. Um, it looks like it's straightforward. Uh, and let me see, what does, what does reaction fish pond need? Look at, this is the actual code. So if you want to write a, a um, door fortress mod, like let's say you're playing and you're like, you know what I want? I want a Jaffa cake factory. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should actually like oh add God. a mod to make a Jaffa My cake. Write a mod to make Jaffa Cakes. I would... I'd play that. What would you need? Well, I mean, like, what would you need to make Jaffa Cakes? You'd need oranges. Or some sort of... Or orange of, flavoring. Orange flavoring. Uh, you'd need flour, water, chocolate, milk. Um... At least English has words that belong to it and only it. Elzariel, I'm not sure that Finnish is better off or is worse off than um, than English in this regard. As I, it's difficult to even tr check the true, like etymo like the origins of those of many English words is not even known. 
Yeah, English uh, is kind of a bastard language. Like, it, it takes languages from, it takes words from every yeah. other language. Okay, yes, I like what we're seeing here. So, we need gelatin. So, we'd have to take bones and boil them for gelatin. Oh, my God. Okay, so we got the gelatin. We would need, like, I, so, so Jaffa cakes can, they actually come with different flavors. So, you would need a fruit. Really? Yeah. I actually didn't know they come in different Yeah, you can flavors. get, so Pims and Jaffa, they both, Jaffa cakes come uh, in raspberry, too. That sounds really good, actually. Uh, yeah, Pims does raspberry ones, and they were really good. We had a bunch yesterday. You can you nice. can buy those in the states. I've only ever found one kind of gluten free because I have to be gluten free. Well, I'm then you're completely free. not going yeah. to be able to do this. <laughs> we could make plump helmet helmet flavored Jaffas too. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Um, all the, all the, for people talking about the languages, yes, every European language borrows heavily from every other European language. That's the way it works. Because they all were talking to each other when the languages were forming. Centarius, yes, you can get fruits from gathering plants. Why don't we look at what we have right now in the kitchen? We have some crayfish, tree acorns, plump We helmets. should definitely make crayfish look, flavors. we actually have five wild oranges. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we have some dwarven meat, orange brandy. Holy smokes, we were making orange brandy? Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. Um, God, we're really low on food. So bad. Got a lot of alcohol, though. <laughs> Maybe make a farm and make your, uh... Do you have a, a, a gin uh, dwarf yet? Because no. if you don't, well, you know. No. Make him farm. <laughs> Give that, make that his only job. You know what we need is a hunter. Let's look at. Uh, there are no other creatures. Well, we have, we actually have. We could actually cook. We probably will have to slaughter some of these creatures. Oh no! And eat them. Slaughter all of your goats. We have woolly mountain goats. Look. Somebody suggests uh, alcoholic goat cheese Jaffas. Uh, we'll have to trade for those, but yeah. We have a bunch of mastiffs, small weasels, badger dogs, Make, dew the beetles. Eat the weasels. Make but yeah, we could kill one of the stray mountain tusk oxes. Um, Wait, don't you need the tusk oxes for like protection? Nah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you going to regret that later when the entire base is slaughtered and because you don't have tusk oxes to protect you? No, no, I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> It'll be fine. You need to, you need to relax. <laughs> um, we should be getting the meat industry going up online, though, soon. So this has been claimed by the dew... This is unclaimed. Um, ask claim. So we've got the dew beetle eggs coming out. And we got those coming out. Yeah, so we should just we just need to make it a while. So we could we could kill some tusk oxen, and um, uh, God, we have so much livestock. Oh, a bunch of it's been. So a bunch of some of it uh, has been. We got some hatchlings. Um, well, we've already got one named. Please do not adopt pets of our livestock. It's just difficult. <laughs> Oh. We have only boars? Um. Uh, no Slot Mage. Uh, Dwarf Fortress is a free game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can buy it. It costs buy zero it. dollars, <laughs> and it is and it is, it is an amazing game. Uh, it's it is a lot of fun. Yeah. It's also very detailed. <laughs> it's very, very detailed. Yeah, okay, I think maybe that's how we can do it. And we'll just have to milk and cheese our way out of this, this deficit. Um, so let me just tell, bounce some other plans before we transition to the Minecraft. We're almost to the point where we go to the Minecraft. It's been about an hour. Yes. Um, here's the thing. I have some plans for the Yogg's Casty activities that probably won't work too well, but should be very humorous if they occur. Um, and I think I can make them work. I, I tested out in the test world and I actually got one or two of them working really well. Um, Duncan is going to, there's a bunch of, um, if you look at this, uh, uh, thing here. Um, we have a bunch of relics and treasure hidden um, in our world because we have a bunch of ruins. Um, and so I was going to have Duncan begin to focus on archaeology and metal sorting. So he's concerned and he wants to go down and handle that. Uh, Zephos is going to get totally obsessed with bees and start doing <laughs> that. Of course. Uh, Simon wants to retake the Dwarven homeland. 
uh, by going down and finding stuff in the caverns. And we're actually going to make a significant... Uh, this is my goal. One of my primary goals besides make the Great Library in Yogg's Modan is to actually have a significant presence in the cavern. That's like a thing for me. Like that's like my thing. Um, and so we're going to try and get that. Thing as well. Yeah. And so, and so I definitely want to do that. I, I will find the caverns. We'll see what's down there. And we'll try and actually have a significant... Like I want to have farms down there, a whole society, right? Nice. Um... So I think then that what, what Honeydew is going to want to do, though, is he knows that there's a bunch of creatures down there. So he wants to bring an army of trained animals, specifically war pigs. Nice. Are yes. You... So he's going to start training uh, a bunch of – he's going to start breeding and training cragtooth boars so that we can – uh, he, so we can armor them up, and he's gonna he's gonna take lead of the military as the lead mining military and try to take back the caverns for the dwarven nation. So I think that that would be that would, that's going to be my 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 shtick. Someone is suggesting that you make an Israfel dwarf. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> uh, what would an Israfel? You know what? When I get a dark mat a mage, I will. Okay. And then just set him free and be like, yeah, you're not allowed here. Yeah. Uh, as for the war pigs, so these are the creatures. These are. Cragtooth boars, and if we look at them, um, they're foraging beasts native to shallow caves and burrows. It has a large snout, long tusks, which uses to dig and furrow through the earth. The large ivory tusks of these creatures continuously grow to compensate for wear and usage. We can actually harvest bone off of these, so... I think we're also going to set up some hunters and hope that that solves some of our food issues. Because it is a bit of a problem. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause the stream and we're going to see if we can get this um, Minecraft thing set up. It may be 10 to 15 minutes before the stream is back. Um, so all y'all go get like something to eat, something to drink, and we'll set up our Minecrafty thing. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, save game. Thank you everybody for helping. Yes. Thank you all for your help. <laughs> pause.